for giving us Jesus. Thank you for giving us Jesus who died for our sin. Thank you for giving us Jesus who you sent to this earth over 2,000 over 2,000 years ago. Thank you for what the Lord Jesus has done in our life. Let's just appreciate the name of the Lord. Father, in the Lord name of Jesus. Jesus. We thank you. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we, we give you all the glory. Thank you for giving us Father, son. thank you for giving Jesus us Jesus. Christ. Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, we adore you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we appreciate you, Lord, Lord, we thank adore you. you. Lord, Lord, we adore you, Lord. Lord, you, Lord. Lord give us your beloved Lord, son. Lord, we give you all the glory. We the glory. Thank you, Jesus. In Lord, the name we of Jesus. Jesus. We appreciate you, you Lord, for Lord, giving us your son, we the one and only the beloved son. Lord, we say thank you. Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Father, Lord, we Almighty appreciate God, you. We adore you. Lord, we appreciate you, Lord. Almighty Father, God. Lord, we give you the glory. We thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you for giving us Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. 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 Lord, we give you all the glory. Let us be the holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you for giving us your big Holy Spirit, your big Holy Son. Lord, we appreciate you. We say thank you. We are in the name of the Lord. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you. Father, Lord, we say thank you. Father, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We adore you, Lord. We give you the glory. Thank you, we adore you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we turn all the adoration of you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want us to go, Lord. We have come here. We are here for an encounter tonight. Father, Lord, encounter us. Few weeks ago, someone told us on this platform that there is a difference between encounter and experience. That's many people, what they had is experience. Experience of Jesus healing people. They were there when when Baba Lola performed many many miracles, but none of those miracles happened in, in their lives. None of those miracles happened to them. So let's say to God, Lord, we are here for an encounter. Father, Lord, encounter our life, Lord. Father, Lord, encounter our life. Let's turn to prayer. Father, in Lord, the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, Lord, we are here for the we encounter. We encounter our life. Lord, encounter our life, in Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we are here for an encounter, Lord. Father, Lord, 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 encounter our life, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, encounter our life, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We must not be here in vain. We must not come here in vain. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I can't tell our life. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I can't tell my life. My life must not be in this. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I can't tell my life, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We refuse to carry it, Lord. Father Lord, I can't tell our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I can't tell our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Encounter our life, meet us at the point of our need in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. For in Jesus, in mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. No, encounter is one of the major difference between the generation of our fathers and our own generation. They had practical, practical encounter with God. Many of them have seen angels. Many of them have seen angels before. Many of them are, are, have spoken. You no, know, they had the opportunity to speak with God. They they, they had a encounter we never we, we have never experienced in our generation, and that and, and that is the major reason uh, why the, the generation is still superb in every aspect. You know, uh, 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 the, the, the the general overseer of MFM. I've once said it here. He said in one of his ministrations that in the history of Christianity, that our generation is the most powerless. And one of the reasons why it's like that is because those fathers they experience they, they, they encounter God. It is it wasn't as if they read God, they read about God alone in the scripture. No, they encounter the God they read about, they encounter the Holy Spirit they read about. They did not read the account of what happened on the day of Pentecost alone. They they, they, they also tasted it. 
they had similar encounter i want to say god we are here for an encounter again lord father lord encounter my life lord Father yeah. Lord, we are here for an encounter, Lord. Yeah. Father yeah. Lord, yeah. encounter yeah. our lives on the way. Father, we are here for an encounter. This is our encounter, Lord. We are here for an 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 encounter, Lord. We are here for in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask Father, Lord, Lord, we Lord, 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 in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must not gather in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we must Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen to God. One of the uh, one of those things that the word of the Lord do is that one of those that the Bible says the entrance of His word bringeth light and grant understanding to the to the simple. Listen to God, Lord, through Your word today, Lord, darkness shall be taken away from my life. That shall be light into my life. I will not be living. I will not be. I uh, be living in darkness again. Through your word, I will come tonight, Lord. There shall be light, Lord. There shall be light to my life, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let's to pray, Father. In Father, the name of Jesus, Jesus, Lord, through your word, I will come Lord, tonight, Lord. There shall be light, Lord. Tonight, I will no longer walk in darkness. For in Jesus mighty name we pray. Before we call upon our Father to minister, let's say to God, Lord, we commit your fat servant that you're going to do this to us. Lord, speak to us through your blood. Father, Lord, speak to us through you. We want to hear your voice. We want to hear you, want to hear you speak it through him. We want to hear, we want to see you in a country of our life. We want to see you uh, exposing the secrets of the of the darkness in our life, Lord, through him, Lord, let's to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Lord, we Jesus. commit your servants. Lord, you are, you are using for Lord, Lord blessing. You want you to do to touch our life through him, Lord. Lord, our life will be in touch with Lord. In the name of Jesus, touch our life through him. We want to see you. In the name of Jesus, the one that I can't tell will never recover from you. For in Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Our brethren, we are privileged tonight to have in the house one of those people that I I started knowing from far since 2015, 2016. Though if you are we are familiar with CSU conference in the KG. Some of us know him. We are only seeing from far, seeing minister, minister from far. So it is the vision of CSC News that that and some and some godly leaders that now brought us together. And I can tell you that I'm always happy we have people like him in CSC. We don't have people like him in CSC. Probably some of us will have left because we we are we 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 we, we can see that at least we have people who can understand our language. We have people. Who, who we can easily relate with you know at times whenever we are talking he won't talk to me as father no he will talk as friend and this is one of those things that is missing our church that has made many church to to depart from our church so we are privileged to have one of the leaders of the church uh, in our midst today is zona superintendent in christ apostolic church do not spread in our victory zone in um in in GRA, Ikeja in the GRA in Kenya, in Lagos. So I, I really appreciate God for his life. Uh, you know, the administrator of God, 
And let me put this in your back. In got our most telling relationship that we know them to stand for this or that before, but they are somehow deviated. You are not mocking them, but I'm just saying that this time God have known him to be a, a, talk, a minister of God with the word. If you are, if you are a pastor in CAC and you are part of the pastor's conference in 2020, 2020, 2019 or 2022, if I'm correct, he, he, we, we all saw what the Lord did to him when he was, when he was privileged to minister at the pastor's conference. So he's, he's an international speaker, a man of God, a servant of the Lord, a son of the Lord. So we are pleased to have him near us. Uh, it's well known to every one of us. I, I can assure you. I, I know of that. So we are pleased to have, to have Pastor Ideo. I can tell you. Over to you, Daddy, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Uh, I'm glad to be here with my friends uh, all over the globe because I see this vision going beyond uh, the sphere of this uh, our country here, and I know that it's a vision that is becoming global. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for the life of our brother, Bobinga, Bancoli. You are a gift to our church. You are a gift to our generation. And I pray that uh, the Lord will take you higher than you can ever imagine in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to bless the name of the Lord for this wonderful vision. And this is the kind of vision I want to believe that can reignite the fire of the Lord, particularly among the youth of this generation. So anyway, uh, I hear people saying a lot of things about uh, the youth of this generation, maybe now, uh, maybe uh, derogatory or whatever. But um, what I know is that there is uniqueness in the youth of these generations. Uh, Provincial one can tap into it what we should understand. I attended a conference about last week with Pastor Julian Made. That is a pastor conference where we brought Pastor Wow and Pastor Lee from uh, Singapore to minister to us. I was talking about uh, uh, you know ministering to the to the to these generations and uh, to retain the youth of uh, this age that i i learned a lot of things and i find out that uh, it's what we don't understand that is uh, that we are standing under because we don't understand those things then we are standing under them i pray that the lord will help us in our church christ apostle church and they will give us the grace that we may understand those vital things that will not allow our expected revival to not be, I do not know our expectation to be in vain in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, Amen. I want to once again appreciate our brother for being a family for this uh, wonderful vision. God bless you in Jesus' name. And, uh, Amen. I want, to, I want us to pray. I want us to start with prayer. I want to lift up our voice and say, Lord, you will speak to me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Touch me where it matters tonight. Lord, touch me. Just be, uh, let the Lord just be uh, as usual. The Lord, meet me at the point of my need. Meet me where it matters. I will turn it to prayer in the, Father, name, of in the name of Jesus. I want us Father, to pray. Lord, touch me where it Lord, matters, where it matters in tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, where it moves, touch me in the name of Jesus, in the name of Sunday, 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 in the with this lightness, 
Let your healing touch my life. I'm going to pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch my life, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, touch my life, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, touch my life, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Heal me, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Pray. Amen. Let's take this song. Amen. Oh, no. I don't know. I have Amen. I have no I have no God. I have no him I have no I have no God besides you. Lord, I have no God. I have no I don't have I don't I don't have plan B. As taught in this healing, oh God, this is spiritual healing. Only you can do it, oh God. Let your healing hands touch me. I want to pray in the name of Jesus. Let your healing hands touch me. In the name of Jesus, I want to God. Heal me, oh God. Let your healing hands touch me. In the name of Jesus, my God. Let my healing hands touch me. In Jesus, my name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. And Father, we thank you because you are God that hear a prayer. You are not God that saw prayers. When you hear prayer, you answer them. You are prayer hearing God, you are prayer answering God. Thank you because you are, you are never tired of hearing us. And you are never tired of answering us. And we know that tonight you will do it again in the name of Jesus. You will hear us and you will answer our prayer, even speedily, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Amen. as many of those of us who are here, you know, with one story or the other, which are return with a loud glory, even tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ. You will turn Amen. our story unto glory in the name of Jesus. I thank you because Amen. you have had us and you will continually Amen. hear us in Jesus' and with the name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ah. I want us to as many of us who are here. I want all I, I want us to be to I want us to do it in a in a in a Christ opposed the church way. If there is anything they know us for. They know us for uh, that action of the faith. Anything we do, we always have action to it. Uh, when we are praying, our prayer is not uh, lukewarm. When we are, anything we are doing, uh, somebody says, but in Lagos here, yeah, that we don't use Panadol, we use Panata. I want us to, I want us to be alive, in his presence in this short time we are going to be spending it will be well with us in jesus name amen amen. Amen. amen amen we are considering tonight danger of lukewarmness what a wonderful topic but i know that's going to help us uh and help not only uh you and i but even our generations because whatever things you have is whatever thing you can share with others danger of lukewarmness uh revelation chapter number three verse 15 and 16. i'm taking it from niv as my favorite uh, version revelation 3 15 to 16 which is very popular I know from your deeds that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, 
neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Hmm. In the above quoted scripture, we see Jesus criticizing the church of in Laodicea for being lukewarm. There, the church is neither cold nor hot in their faith. The word here is metaphorically used to imply neither cold nor hot, or it may imply lack of fervor or paucity of fervor, paucity of dedication, paucity of sincerity in one's relationship with God. The word of, of lukewarmness suggests a state of spiritual apathy or compromise where individuals are neither fully committed to God nor completely disinterested in Him. A, a state of uh, lukewarmness is a state whereby you have lacked of love for God you are disinterested in the things of the law. When you see a lukewarm person, a lukewarm person, what happens? You know, the, his prayer life lacks luster. His study life, his devotional life, not to talk of his character or his spiritual life. When lukewarmness steps in, and I'm telling you, uh, um, it's, a, it's a very dangerous state because it's a pathway to apostasy. Loneliness in the context of this night program can be said to be neither hot or cold. We want to emphasize that but it, is, it means you are just stupid or indifferent as the Bible has put it. It is a, I want to say that uh, the is a lack of enthusiasm, lack of passion, lack of that excitement that you used to have about the things of God. It at times associated with spiritual indifference or complacency. I know all of us know what the word complacency is. Complacency. Acting Ah, well, that's when, when you see a Christian, a child of God, praising himself, you know, and say, ah, Lord, ah, we thank you for the level we are, we are trying. Now, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's a sign of lukewarmness. And I find out the belief of is really spiritual. And when it happens, it can impact very aspects of our life. We want to quickly see this danger and we see way out before we take a few prayer points. Now, the danger is what I call superficiality. Uh, Superficiality. Look at the experience of spiritual power and vitality, resulting in the shallow of a superficial faith. The faith is no longer real, no longer original. When the sets in, superficiality sets in. Then one becomes superficial, one becomes superfluous. What you are doing is no longer real, you know. A, a, a element of faith is setting in, no longer original, no longer who you used to be. Like Babenga said in his word of introduction, you know, someone who you used to know to be very hot is no longer hot. Unfortunately, for him to be cold, it's not cold. 
is in between the it's in the middle you can't tell whether it's still there or not there you cannot ascertain its position spiritually and otherwise the space of superficiality that's a miracle of the media and when that is happening one is degrading is tendency. Look what is happening in some spiritual movements. At times, it can get one stuck or get one stagnated. If there is anyone on that, the you know, my voice tonight, who have been stagnated, I see the power of the Lord moving you ahead in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, 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 and in their personal growth and development, as local individuals may be too competent and resistant to change or improvement, when you see somebody very strong with lukewarmness, you know, it's very like shiny. You see, you see, it's such a person, age, you see that person. You know the the, the 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 rate of movement is impeded you know such a ones that will become stagnant will become um uh, uh, become stagnated no more improvement no more progress you know in fact what you know in about two or three years or one year ago then with what you but you begin to measure in you wouldn't be able to know maybe it's making progress, maybe it's a, a progress now is retrogressing. Instead of pregnancy, mostly spiritual blindness is one of serious and terrible dangers of lukewarmness. Lukewarmness, if persistent, can lead to spiritual blindness, where individuals become indifferent or oblivious to their need for deeper spiritual nourishment and understanding. A, 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 a lukewarm person is a spiritual blind person. He can't see. And you know when you cannot see, you don't know. Someone who said something one day, he said, we don't need, in our age, he said, we don't need new light. All we need is new sight. That is different between new and fresh. I don't think we need new things. All we need is fresh things. We don't need it to be you know, The Bible says there is no new things under heaven. But that which you know, somebody says a winner is not a person who does new things or who does a, 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 a who, who, who does things in a different way. You know, and who does things in a, in a different way, but they do the same thing they have been doing, is the same thing in the, they do differently. Trumpetness is one of the serious danger of uh, lukewarmness. Number four, when you see a lukewarm person, you know, the tendency for shunning the Great Commission will be there. Lukewarmness can undermine one's ability to effectively witness or share their faith with others, as it may lack the authenticity and conviction needed to inspire others. When you see a lukewarm person, he doesn't even have what to share because of his sense of witnesses is dwindling down, is dying off. You know, uh, a, a lukewarm person becomes Weak in all things that touch spiritual activities, including witnessing, including school winning, including you know working for the Lord. Spiritual
Uh, sorry, everyone. I think uh, Father is having um, technical challenges. He will be back very soon. He will be back very soon by the special grace of God. And I think uh, we can, from what the Lord has said to him, I think we have um, we have been able to realize many things about lukewarmness. Our father is back. He's back. You can continue, sir. You can continue, sir. Uh, we can't hear you, sir. You have to unmute your mic, sir. We can't hear you. Oh, all right. Maybe she tried to go out and come in again, sir. Because you have muted yourself, sir. We can't hear you at all. Hello? Okay. Yes, sir. We can hear you now, sir. I'm sorry for this. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, of lukewarmness is a fair punishment. Lukewarmness can invite God's judgment. As seen in the warning to the church in Laodicea, that they will not be spit out for their lukewarm state. These are the terrible things that we should try to severe, the, 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 that we should try to avoid, that we should try to dodge by not becoming lukewarmness then how do we avoid lukewarmness how do we avoid lukewarmness you know many of you can even on you many of you can have many other points as to what the danger could be well we know even it's only one that we know once it, well, even if it's only one if one there is one danger it is dangerous mm. because it takes only one danger to finish one's life we don't even need to measure so many dangers. You know, even one danger, one danger, one danger can kill, one danger can destroy, mm -hmm. one danger can put an end to one spiritual life, but one's life completely. But let me tell you how to do What do we do? How do we avoid lukewarmness? Number one, we have to be spiritually sensitive to sin. Spiritual sensitivity to sin. Always be vigilant against temptation and sin. If we choosing to live a life that honors God and reflects His love, consistent, spiritual living can lead to lukewarmness. You know, if you don't just talk, there are times where some people who are not lukewarm, but they are sinful. And if they can take them a long time, you know, you know, the devil is so strategically. I mean, so, so strategic. You know, the devil we are fighting is a strategic devil. I'm very, very experienced. Very, very smart. You know, I find you see somebody committing one sin and nothing happen. That is the crisis of the devil. That is the strategy of the devil. Is taking you to the to, to the throne of faith, lukewarmness. You commit the first thing, nothing happens. Particularly this small, small sin of the thing. All those secret sins, the one you do that no one knows you are doing it. I, I, I tell people, these men are not open sinners. They are secret sinners. No Christian commit. You know, I, I have never seen a Christian, a child of God, that will carry that we carry a bottle of beer out and uh, you know you won't be able to do that in the well the public place you pre you know you pretend as if everything is okay as if you are normal most of the things you do that we call sin as a christian are the thing you do in the secret 
You have to be sensitive to sin. And that has not helped Joseph in his lifetime. He never joked with sin. He was always very sensitive. Very sensitive. Sin will keep you from praying. Why praying will keep you from sinning? No means for sure that sin will keep you from praying. Why praying will keep you from sinning? The psalmist says, if I regard iniquity in me, the Lord will not hear me. A sinner will know that if he pray unto God, it will not be hard. He will have that conviction within him. And as you, you know, continue, instead of saying, little by little, little by little, little by little, you are losing your prayer thought for, you are losing your, uh, uh, you, you are losing your, the only the, the for prayer is dying. The, the only the for prayer is diminishing. And before you know it, you get a, a, a point in time when you don't even pray again. So, be spiritually sensitive to sin. And uh, the only way that one can avoid secret sin is by practicing the presence of God. Always practice the presence of God. That was the secret of Joseph. That was the Joseph. Anywhere you are, see God there. You know, in the Old Testament, God used to, even in the days, God used to come and fix it and go. That was the age when they enjoy, all they enjoy there was the fine visitation. You know, we have three dimensions to the, of the presence of God. In the Old Testament, we have this dimension of uh, divine visitation. God come and go. And the era of Jesus Christ, a God with, God with, Emmanuel. Then in this, our own era, the era of the Holy Ghost, which is God in. We have him in us. Our own era is better than the era of Joseph. If Joseph, who experienced divine visitation, was still conscious of the presence of that in time to be pregnant when he was still to say, he said, no, my old guy is not here, but God is here. How much more you and I that have the privilege of having Holy Spirit in us? We have, we are carrying them anywhere we are. We are carrying of God anywhere we go. If you have, you have consciousness, God is in me. Anywhere I find myself, you'll be able to avoid it. Secret sin. And when you avoid sin, I'm telling you, when you avoid sin, there is no way lukewarmness can set in for you. Number one. Number two, supplication. Maintain a regular and consistent prayer life. Cultivate a lifestyle of prayer. Pray without cessation. Pray always. You know, it is possible in our age. We don't need, this is not the age of tradition. You don't need a special place to pray. You don't need a special hour to pray. The God we serve is not good of hour. The God we serve is not good of peace. Don't, don't make the mistake that Jacob If I say it's a mistake, I mean, some, some people may not agree with me. Joseph got to a place, I mean, uh, Jacob, sorry, Jacob got to a place in, 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 when, when he was there, uh, uh, when, when he was going exile, then he got to a place where he slept, and remember that story, Bible says where he slept, uh, what happened, he saw in Revelation, he saw the age of the Lord ascending and descending, and uh, you know, there God spoke to him, and uh, he enjoyed the presence of God and all the rest, and uh, when he woke up in the morning, he made a statement that we that 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 stone me when I got when I got to the understanding of statement, he said, God is in this place, and I do not know it. And he began he began, he began to, to gather tombs and was making a monument over there, and the, you know that is what it's almost the beginning of idolatry. You know, the mistake he knew was that God is in this place. But this Thing, the same God we say is in this place. When he see God into the place where he was going, he see a the God. He see a can't be God. So God is not in the place. God is in the person. 
So we are very fortunate in our head that we are privileged to have access to the Holy Spirit. And by the Spirit of God, we can pray anywhere because we have God. We have the of God anywhere we go. We don't need a dedicated house. We don't need a dedicated place. Anywhere you go, pray. Any of our I'm not saying to uh, have a, uh, a prayer all the time. We just not have a place. You say we go at a time. What I'm saying is that it does not really matter. You will you come down, he hear you. In your family, God can hear you. In your phone, what you are missing, pray. What you are hitting, you can pray. You can you can meet, you can, you can meet. You know, you must to, you know, the cross. Let prayer become your only star. So we have a heavenly ministry in the spirit, praying the Holy Ghost. You know, it's not a difficult thing as we perceive. That is one of the issue in those days. When I was doing when I was saying, I'm going to pray so that something with trust comes and break my wings, I won't be able to do it. I said, I said, I don't have time. But today, it's not the way we say it. You are in your car driving, you say, Oh, Lord, help me. When you help me, it's a thing that you can help me. There's no way to bring you back to your, to, 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 to your, to, 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 to bring you back. To the to, 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 to the level that uh, that that you make that that you are away from. Oh, help me is enough to settle that way to think you can overcome even with a ten hours prayer. Just think of him. You say sincerely, for a while, you know, the issue is, you know, when there's some things, it's a thing of God. Hey, thank God, you miss it. And I was almost speaking, we didn't see the book. So don't think uh, many words you are able to make, how many sentences of prayer you are with. You know, I see people, you know, uh, dramatizing prayer, and then I see that, I think they are talking to you. You are talking to man, you are talking to God. Prayer is communicated between you and God. Oh, help me. That's what I want to hear. I help myself. Oh, God, Lord, I'm not sufficient. Lord, I am not able. Lord, I am feeble. Lord, you confess your weakness and you confess that He has the power. That's it. You what you can do at that time. It's time you can pray at that time. You can pray 24 hours. Each hour you have prayer. You can pray. You can pray for at least 30 minutes. You can pray for prayer. Don't say, man, you don't help me. No, I can't do it by myself. Lord, I depend on you. And just at the time of time, you take a song of praise to him. No, I'm saying this to us that we may know how to do the best to do. This is what the time we have. To go and spend several times this month until you are going to do for marathon. I tell people one day, I know people don't agree with me, I don't care about that. My work is the thing that I'm convinced about. I tell people that it's nothing like marathon. What they call marathon is uh, the little, 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 little prayer time that we miss. Then now, they now, <laughs> yeah. We did not move it together and become a You know, you can imagine somebody, a woman that um, uh, any day he comes home from a place of work, all the clothes he uses, the one the children use, the one the husband use, he put them in the bowl and wash. It won't take him more than 10 minutes at most, 10 or 15 minutes to, to finish all the all this, uh, washing and the laundry. But you can imagine if you kept piling them up on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then you will, she will have a reason for a hard work on Saturday. Is that the hard work? That what we call it. Just, just you, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 
pretend that you ignore, that you neglect, they are the one that comes to bring down and they and become a hard thing for you. Don't let prayer become a hard thing. Spend time to pray, pray on without losing season. Spend time in prayer. And the next one is spiritual meditation. The scriptural meditation. Meditation will help us not to fall into the ditch of uh, lukewarmness. Spend time meditating on scripture to deepen your relationship with God. What is meditation? Meditation is not uh, uh, it's not thinking the word of God. It's muttering the word of God repeatedly. You are muttering the word of God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want it. The Lord is, is, is the Lord is my shepherd. As you are more clean it, you repeatedly. Somebody says meditation is an act of allowing the scripture to form a picture in your heart. You multiply it until that scripture, you know, form a picture in your heart. You of course you see this, surround yourself with other Christians. Choose a partner. To meditate the word of God together. You need fellow believers who can encourage and support you in your faith, in your journey. And not only is it service and ministry. You can escape lukewarmness, you can dodge it when you look for an opportunity to serve others and use your gift consistently, your talent consistently for God's kingdom. This will ignite your path of following Christ. As you are doing some of these things, you see that. Uh, your passion is being ignited from time to time. The last, there's also the next way, the next point you made. If you want to, uh, 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 if, if you want to escape lukewarmness, if you don't want to slow the step A for you, from the lukewarmness, stay committed, stay committed to studying of the world, studying of the Bible, stay committed to growing in your understanding of God's word. To prevent spiritual stagnation. And I want to say now the last one here surround yourself with accountable partners. Surround yourself with partner people. You just feed these people. I am accountable on today. Don't live your life like uh, some uh, like an independent Christian. Don't live your life like an independent person. You can make your wife a one. You can make your husband a one. You can make your children a young your children. Don't say what you're living like. Okay, my daughter, please, please watch me. If I'm not going to say something, please call me to order. Have accountability partner who can help keep you accountable in your world of God. And challenge you to grow, it will help you. Look what next is the silent monster that should be avoided at all costs by actively pursuing those affirmation practices. I want to believe you can avoid becoming lukewarm in your faith and maintain a vibrant relationship with God. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. You see. Talking is cheap. I want us to pray. I want us to pray tonight. Number one prayer point. I just want to take those three prayer points. And this number one prayer point. Oh, my spiritual eye. Sharpen. My spiritual eye. My spiritual eyes. Sharpen me. Sharpen me. In the spirit. Sharpen me. In the spirit of God. Give me that heart of discernment. Shall we go to prayer? Let them pray. In the name of Jesus. Lord, shall my spiritual eye. Lord, shall my spiritual eye. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Make me sensitive. In the name of Jesus. My spiritual eye. In the name of Jesus. Make me sensitive. In the name of Jesus. Make me sensitive. Lord, shall we be sensitive? 
Jesus. Stop in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make me sensitive to the things of the Spirit, Lord. Father, make me sensitive, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Make me sensitive, Lord. Make me sensitive, Lord. Make me sensitive, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. When Amen. I say three prayer points, it won't be more than three prayer points. Then other ones could come from uh, other sources. But the second one, I want us to cry. Oh, my father, send my father, set my heart to fight for you. In the name of Thank Jesus, you. Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, set my heart to fight I want to pray for you. 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 I want Lord, Jesus, my name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Jesus, my name, we are praying. Amen. I want us to pray this prayer. This prayer point has helped me over time. What is it? Oh, God. What is done that give me pleasure but give you pain? Let it perish tonight. In the name of Jesus. What is in me? What is in me that gives me pleasure but gives you pain? Oh God, what a nice dream that pleases me but only you. Oh Lord, let it perish. Set it on fire. Set it on fire. Set it a good show, God. That which gives me pleasure, gives you pain. Come destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Destroy it. Same to that point. I want us to repeat it. So it's all Father, oh Lord, my father. Oh Lord, my father. We give me pleasure. That we give me pleasure. That give you pain. CNC boy, like a CNC gay, not in a CNC boy. You know, those I'm talking of those young ones that are very good in prayer. Say, oh Lord, my father, oh Lord, my father, give me pleasure, give me pleasure, I give you pain. 
that Lord we have believed that in Jesus mighty name we are praying amen thank you Renabuli Kantahalia, we will live a dying of Tandalia. Lord, we fixed look to now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We say, we speak of look on this. There is no reason to speak to us. But it's not that we can we will assist you. We say no to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We make you to be hard for you. 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 We want you to be in the Lead to the most in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We are asking God that will give us pleasure, but gives you pain. Holy Spirit, burn it off. Amen. Take it away. Amen. 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 This vision will not die. Amen. This vision will keep burning. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. People will people will find delight in this vision. Amen. People will embrace this vision. Amen. Amen. Ask God of your son, which is revival in our age, it will come. Amen. Now, fire will burn that. Amen. Revival will come. Amen. Revival will come. Amen. Fire will burn that. Revival will come. Amen. Revival will come. So shall it be. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you. I pray for our brethren. Our sister are online tonight that are participating tonight uh, that you will see resort to this prayer Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will have reason to testify. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any impediment, any element, element of lukewarmness, element of sickness. Element mm. of element, mm. element of weakness, mm. element of stagnation, mm. element of sterility. Mm. In you, I command them to be born. Mm. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ, mm. I see you shining mm. from the Lord. Mm. I see you growing brighter mm. and brighter. Mm. You will grow up. You will go farther. You will go farther. You will grow. You will grow bigger. You will grow bigger. You will grow bigger. You will grow. You will grow bigger. You will grow brighter. You will grow brighter. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Let there be revival in you. Amen. Let there be revival from you. Amen. And let there be revival through you. Amen. In Jesus' beautiful name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 Wow. Thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate sir. more Amen. anointing in the name of Jesus. We Amen. appreciate and we thank God for your life. In our usual way of doing, I want us to pray for our Father. I want us to commit him to the rest of the Lord. He needs our prayer. Let's decree to his life. Let's decree to his ministry. 
Let's decree to the family. Let's begin to pray. We are sons and daughters of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we are saying, Consider your servant. Lord, of God, we are saying, 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 Lord, of Amen. Thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate it. On behalf of every one of us here, we say thank you. It's a privilege to have you in the house, and we cannot abuse the privilege. And, and that's why we appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. We really yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so I much, I appreciate sir. you, too, for bringing me. It's a privilege uh, to be offered this uh, great platform. It's more than the way you have seen it. Mm. What, I, what I'm seeing, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is amazing. And I just uh I'm, I'm encouraging you to be consistent with it. Right. No matter no matter the uh, discouragement, refuse to throw in the tour, refuse mm -hmm. to let go, just hold it tightly. You know, right. it's a global vision. You mm -hmm. know, and that person, I see that person waxing stronger and stronger, and I see mm -hmm. that fire being ignited mm -hmm. you know, more and more in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, I was sharing with, I, I said I attended the Pastor Kojo Yimadis conference about two weeks ago, that about uh, the, the words, you know, what stormed me most was uh, when uh, Pastor Lee. Leo was uh, scaring the their their dream, and uh, I saw how that dream was being attacked. Hmm. And he gave he gave us the progression of dream. He said we have the bath of the dream, the bath of the dream, the time when the dream is being bathed. Hmm. Then after the bath of the dream, then he said we have the uh the delay of the dream then after the delay of the dream we have the death of the dream mm. he used joseph as an uh, uh, as, as a, a key uh, lesson note you know uh, at the time when the dream was bad when he was with his uh, brethren and mm. was sharing the dream with uh, his father and whoever that was the part of the dream oh this man will come one day we see what he becomes you know, this man will be, is going to rule over us one day. That was the dream. Then the dream for for year, the dream kept delaying until the time of the death of the dream. Mm. The dream died when Joseph was being sent to prison. Mm. And yeah, that was the death of the dream. I mean, the person that wants to become this and that has been sent. And the prison where he was sent to, there was no hope of him coming out at all because mm. the man the person he offended was the captain of the prison mm. so there was no hope but then because it's a dream of a dream is a the dreamer the, 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 the dream the, the, that dream you know the, at the point of time a day time that the dream was resurrected that was the resurrected stage and after resurrection, the next thing is a, uh, the, the next thing is a, the manifestation of the dream, which always happen. I know that uh, uh, with the illustration, the, this uh, men of God gave about their dreams 
how the dream was applied, how the dream died, mm -hmm. and the, how the dream was resonated again and become a global dream. Everybody wants to go to them to learn how are they doing it, that they are raising this young generation of this age uh, in Singapore and they're becoming you know, a model to our world. That dream that came to pass was not, you know, it was it wasn't a, it was it wasn't the smooth road. It was mm. not a smooth journey. And so any vision you are have in place, uh, keep to it. Mm. Don't be discouraged. Don't be overwhelmed. Don't be inundated. Don't allow anything to come uh, your way and obstruct you. So uh, keep it tight. The dream we succeed. Amen. This one, Amen. we succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to appreciate all of you that are here. The Lord bless you. As you are supporting this dream Amen. to grow, Amen. the Lord will send around you those that will help your dream as well. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless Amen. you. Thank you, sir. We want you to pray for us, sir. We want you to decree into our lives as we, as we close, sir. Linoba in Dapra Lida Kunaibos Tundalia. I decree and I declare for you, each and every one of you here, greater height you will attain. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything comes all steps in your way and call them to be met ahead. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 that are not making you happy, I call for the meeting now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every element that are not making you happy, I call for the meeting now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I was ministering with the ministry this morning, and uh, I made a statement. Now, when I enter into my car, the Holy Spirit was brooding on this. It was bringing back this statement to me and expanding it for me. And uh, I remember the three Hebrews said to King Nebuchadnezzar that, listen, our God who we serve will deliver us. And even though he didn't deliver us, be it. We're not going to bow for you. And the only thing that asked me that did God deliver them? Uh, let me ask you. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Did, 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 did God deliver them? Yes, sir. He delivered them, sir. Uh, Doctor Larry, what you did God deliver them? Uh, yes, sir. That's the answer I gave. The Holy Spirit said, I am wrong. That he didn't deliver them. Mm. I mean, I had it in your room, but one me, oh no, we can't buy a cool or wool boom. Oh, we can't buy a cool or wool boom. The dog man got better cool or wool boom. God did not deliver them. They were still in the fire. They burned them out of the fire. Because the fire was not from the function expected of, the, of for, for them. Daniel found himself in the den of the lion. Daniel, are you are you, are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Daniel found himself in the den of lion. God did not deliver him. God usurped the power of the lion. The devil is not the out of the of the place. All the soldiers were thrown into the prison. God did not deliver them. But they were big. What the what they did? I pray for each and every one of you that the Lord will the power of every battle against your life, sir. 
Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You are me and the cocker, and of the c'est So thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. So join us next week for another edition by the special grace.